Cocky Dodge owners. Yeah, you better dodge that home here. Yeah. Hey guys, Dippin' Diesel here. Welcome back to the channel. So um, this right here, this is what you call a hitch, and this little pin right here, that's your hitch pin. Well, I don't have the key, so in order to get this flagpole on, we're going to have to cut it off. Come on, baby. Got it. We care about dip trucks and American flags and beard and beard can't forget beard hell yeah brother can't forget trucks less too even though I'm in a relationship I love my girlfriend very much but I know for some people trucks less are uh, are pretty good so uh, don't take that from me hell yeah small town America baby oh and you can't forget about rolling coal come on guys yeah yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Hey, look at this flatty. It's a 1500. That bit tooted up, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. He on X Games mode. Oh yeah, guys. My first ever sweet Georgia peach here in the South. Uh, I've had peaches in California. I love peaches, but those are probably like nasty communist peaches. Uh, so we're gonna try a sweet Georgia peach for the first time. So juicy. I didn't think anything could be juicier than your than your girlfriend, but oh man, this is a good peach. Yeah, this my hair's looking a little crazy. Um we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So this 
this is what I'm rocking with right now. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep the mullet or not. I kind of like having short hair. I might just cut it all the way down with, with this uh, 5 8 I think I want short hair. I'm going to go back to short hair. Then we can grow the mullet out another time. But yeah, I think I'm just going to do the whole back with uh, this one right here. There's my new haircut. Sheesh. This literally, I think it was uh, five eighths all the way around. And um, yeah, no more mullet. All that hair got cut off. I was gonna make it a mullet, but um, I just decided to go short. Let me know how you guys think it looks. You guys are dirty. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think. How does it look? Look fresh, look clean. I kind of messed up on the ears and the sideburns and shit. It'll grow back. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. But goddamn, dude, these freaking pieces of shit. Goddamn. Oh, one. God damn. 2,500. You seeing this shit? You seeing this shit? Right there. See that? Well, I always have to add some freaking power steering fluid. So while I was at Dollar General, you know, I got a freaking huge ass mess right here. Brand new clippers. Freaking Capri Sun. But while I was at Dollar General, I went ahead and picked up some power steering fluid because I'm freaking tired of this shit leaking. I bought some stop leak. It says it works with power steering fluid. Did I say transmission fluid? I meant power steering fluid. Yeah, there it is. Power steering fluid, freaking stop leak. Hopefully it'll stop leaking. You know, I could probably just, you know, replace that and uh, I won't have to keep adding fluid, but you know, I don't feel like it. So we're just going to, uh, Put another like seven bucks into the truck and it'll be gone in in less than a week uh but yeah power steering fluid right here god damn can't even get it off oh yeah oh she drier than a grandma so there's a little bit in there i put a little bit in there uh, a couple days ago and it hasn't leaked all the way out yet you know some people say don't add stop leak because there's like Aluminum or some shit in here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it stops it from leaking But since this system is already messed up anyway, might as well go ahead and uh, add some stop leak I'm gonna add this whole freaking bottle I spilled a little bit of it And uh, that's all she wrote it took the whole bottle and it's overflowing like Jennifer Lowen but yeah, put that put that dipstick back in there. Oh, oh, it went in easy. Went in super easy, nice and wet. I don't know why I'm making all these jokes. But yeah, guys, didn't actually need this power steering fluid, but you know, it's emergency. You're gonna need it if you're driving a Dodge Ram 2500, 2001. Uh, you're gonna need some power steering fluid for sure. Uh, but that should fix that problem. It said in three days or 200 miles, I doubt that, but we'll, we'll figure out if it, if it leaks or not. Oh my God, look at how much it's leaking. That's not good. Well, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. My camera is running out of battery, so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Dippin' Diesel, out. It's not a game. It's a red stick. LLCs will let you have multiple entries per mail-in card. During promotions, you can have the same advantage. One dollar equals however many entries to enter that giveaway, right? As people that pay. Like we said before, a purchase will not increase your chances of winning. So guys, I'm gonna tell it here straight. Giveaways have flooded the YouTube scene, um, the car scene, the truck scene. Everywhere, everyone's doing truck giveaways, car giveaways, and I'm tired of seeing ad after ad from no name companies getting on the bandwagon and giving away freaking trucks. It is literally so annoying to hop on Instagram and Facebook and see an ad every single time that I get on there. But here's what I want you guys to do. It's simple. Stop buying merch. Just stop. All together, just stop. Only enter for free. Mail in your guys' entries.